I want to take you back to three years ago, okay? So it is December of 2020. We are just getting into COVID. Everybody is locked down. But we have something to look forward to. An amazing, awesome game is about to come out called Cyberpunk 2077. The company CD Projekt Red has been working on it for like 20 years. It is going to be a crazy, awesome, polished game. It is going to set records. It is going to be like the new GTA. Oh, just kidding. It actually sucks. It is the worst launch ever. So many bugs. It would make an ant farm jealous. Yeah, that's right. I just said that. Like, seriously, it has gone down in history as probably one of the, if not the, worst game launches ever in terms of what we were promised versus what we got. It was terrible, and there was absolutely no way that this game could ever come back from the grave. This game is just permanently dead, or so we thought. So I have been seeing this uh, gradually kind of uh, start to come out of the woodwork that this game is just getting better better and better with updates, and as of yesterday, Cyberpunk 2077 has reached a significant milestone, a, a monumental milestone compared to how it released, okay? So on Steam, after almost three years and a staggering 546,000 reviews, the game has finally achieved an overall very positive score, which that means 80% or more of players have reviewed it positively. So yeah, it goes without saying, uh, the journey to this point has not been without challenges. Initially, the game was negative review bombed due to various bugs and missing features, although PC players had a slightly better experience compared to console users. However, Project Red committed to turning things around and embarked on an extensive redemption story, to say the least, comparable to the transformation of the game No Man's Sky. So over the course of two or three years, the team focused on optimizing performance and fixing tens of thousands of bugs. They also introduced quality of life improvements and added new gameplay elements. Notably, the recent release of the Overdrive, which is the ray tracing mode, has made Cyberpunk 2077 one of the most visually stunning PC games on the market. Of course, provided players have the hardware to support it. Now, the journey towards uh, redemption is not yet complete, but I say that in a good way, because the game's massive expansion called Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty is set to release on September 26th, and I can think of no better time for it to release because already people are saying that this game has completely turned around and it is just overall a uh, much better uh, product that they received uh, versus, you know, three years ago. With a budget larger than The Witcher Blood and Wine, this expansion aims to learn from the launch's lessons and deliver a polished experience from the outset. And I have no doubt that this DLC will breathe even more life into this already growing game. And it is important to remember that underneath its awful technical issues at launch, Cyberpunk 2077 was praised at the time for its compelling core gameplay, plus its vibrant open world in Night City and its engaging storylines and exceptional performance by V, the protagonist. Now that the technical problems have mostly been addressed, players are leaving very positive reviews. Project Red's dedication to continuously improving the game deserves recognition as they have persevered and transformed it into a very polished gem over the years. Like I said, what we got three years ago to compared to what we got today, it's like comparing a piece of crap to a diamond. They have actually done an absolutely fantastic job at reviving this game, which was on life support on uh, day one of launch. And with the upcoming expansion promising a significant enhancement and a whole slew of changes, the saga of Cyberpunk 2077 is a remarkable tale of ongoing development and commitment to player satisfaction. I absolutely love comeback stories, and in the gaming world, these stories are kind of few and far between. Okay, usually if a game flops, then it just flops, and the gaming studio just kind of leaves it there to die, but in this case, that was absolutely not the case, so I have great respect for Project Red, and I look forward to seeing what they can do with this game even more going forward.